a great win for us kind of a continuation of what we or how we ended in Florida just the I guess focus and intensity of our team um, just really just happy for them stepping up specifically Lisa in moments and areas that we've we've talked about where she can make an impact on her team specifically rebounding I mean she's kind of taken ownership of that and been really aggressive kind of going to the offensive boards defensive boards getting our hands on balls giving our team an opportunity to get uh, extra possessions which um, every coach enjoys and loves but good win for us really excited uh, to kind of be in a positive place going into ACC play I saw that the players were really fighting over every possession and really working really hard. Um, what do you feel like really went well today? And well, our effort, and we executed very well for the most part. I mean, we were looking for specific things offensively as well as forcing them to do specific things defensively. And I believe that when we kind of like dial in and are um, very focused on our scout and sticking to that, I mean, positive things happen for us. Coach, you talk about Lisa sort of taking over the rebounding. Six, six rebounds total for her today. All six of those coming on the offensive glass. Just how important is that? Well, I mean, we can score points, but I wouldn't say that we're a knockdown shooting team. And when you miss shots, opportunities are available offensively. And I would probably say about seven games ago, maybe, um, had a conversation with Lisa about what could happen and what she could do um, on the offensive boards and, you know, just opportunities kind of laying and waiting. And from that moment on, I mean, she has had great intentions and in making an effort in that area. And it's worked out for her. I mean, she's getting a lot more, you know, opportunities or shots at the basket. And as a player, I know for me that any time I could get more shots, I would definitely do whatever necessary. And Lisa, for you, just how much are you enjoying the role that you have right now? And sort of how has that, how, how did that conversation sort of change things for you this year? I mean, as a player, you're always happy when things go well. And I mean, I've been working extremely hard to get into this position. And it's, I'm so happy, like, just great that I can finally t show everybody that I'm able to perform at this level and that I'm able to put extra effort into offensive rebounding or rebounding in general, boxing out, and just, you know, getting points and just seeing that I've been growing over this last couple of years is just amazing. Um, I know it was really tight at halftime, but then in the second quarter, you guys had, I think you held them for two long stretches without any scoring and mm -hmm. had like a 13-2 run. What, what did you say at halftime? Well, emphasize that, you know, at halftime, the score was 25 to 25, and it's literally an even game. So let's look at it as 0-0, zero, zero, and all we needed to do was win the second half and we could do that on the defensive end so if we could focus defensively and get stops like we always find a way to score I mean and sometimes it's ugly and it could be a little scrappy but we'll find a way to put points points on the board but if we can stop the other team from scoring then it makes it you know a lot more wide open for us and you know the kids I mean they they nodded in agreement and went out and executed it it was really nice to see Felicia without crutches today. Yes. When do we, you, th you have any idea when she'll be back? We still have the six to eight weeks time frame, and I think we're right a, uh, around a little over five weeks. So it's kind of day to day, just what she can tolerate and, you know, how much stability she feels. So, I mean, I wish it was closer to six, but, you know, it's kind of one of those things that only time will tell. Obviously, last non-conference game before ACC play opens to all three of you. How do you feel? How do you think you're doing? How ready do you feel for uh, ACC play? 
Well, of course, I always feel like we could do better, you know, even when um, we're doing a whole lot of things positive. I mean, I've just seen individually what our kids can do on a day-to-day basis. So, you know, I expect their best like every single day. So, of course, we're going to be constantly uh, students and growing daily, but I feel like we're in a good place confidence-wise. I mean, going into the ACC, I mean, we all know how tough of a conference the ACC is. So, going in with confidence with a positive attitude and have an understanding of the things that we want to do. I definitely feel like we're in a better place as far as executing our offense, sticking to the game plan defensively, and kind of knowing what we want to do and accomplish in in our scouts definitely helps us going into the ACC. Um, I feel like we've hit a he like hit a point where we're more confident, um, especially since the win against South Florida. Um, after that, our confidence gone up, and we're just you know, playing better basketball. So yeah. <laughs> Earlier, you know, you mentioned satisfied with the win. However, kind of towards the end of the game, you looked a little frustrated with some stuff. Um, what what was that? Execution. I mean, when, you're, when the game is tight and it's a possession for possession game, then we need to execute and do the things that are asked of us. So, um, of course, you're excited about the win, but every you know possession and experience or game that we go into is a learning experience and moment for us, specifically when the game is on the line. We have a very competitive coaching staff, and we are um, – we, we demand a certain level of, of excellence from our team, and we can't have less uh, lapses, in, lapses in judgment, especially when um, winning or losing is, is the outcome. And knowing that we kind of had the game in our hand, hands, it's not a moment to relax. So it was just a reminder of that. Um, is there... Any particular challenges you see facing um, Florida State coming up, or in, and maybe just the ACC? And well, um, just depth. You know, we we we're a small roster, and they're the kind of team that likes to get up and down and run, and they're athletic. So it's going to take a lot of effort, you know, on our end. So us just kind of saving our legs as much as we can, and um, preparing to, you know, defend that is something that is, is always a focus and, you know, kind of on the back of our minds, like with our team. But, you know, we're going to approach. Um, every single game with the same attitude and we know that we are all we have and it's something that we tell our kids daily that it is enough it is enough so it's not a complaint it is a reality for us and you know we're going to approach every game with that attitude uh Bree when you know you start off shooting so hot like you did today um just sort of how have you seen your role change this year um from last year to this year, I say that I'm t- actually taking more shots. Uh, I was more of trying to focus on defense last year, but this year I'm taking more of an offensive side and more appro- like an offensive approach. Um, yeah, but that's really it. Just more confident and trying to be more aggressive. And then, Coach, in the same vein, how have you seen Bree really sort of improve uh, since the start of the year? Well, one thing that I'm excited about is that she's a lot more vocal. You know, I, I think probably the, the biggest hurdle was to getting her to just kind of talk and communicate more. I mean, being that she's our point guard and the ball is in her hand a lot, you know, communication is necessary. And just the confidence in taking the shots that we absolutely know that she can make. I mean, a lot of times point guards are facilitators by nature. And, you know, they want to make the play that uh, execute in executing and initiating the offense. But, you know, we need her to score and put points um, on the board. If we're going to get, because we're we're a, a attacking off the dribble kind of team, we need people in the perimeter that, uh, you know, teams have to guard. And Bree is a threat and a weapon in that area. So I'm always kind of uh, pushing and nudging at her to take uh, open and available shots and you know when they're overplaying her shot to get to the basket and so for me I think it's more just uh, confidence you know in her leadership and the more confident she gets you know the more positive things happen for her. Any last questions?